I'm Miss Kristen with the St. Clair County Library and today we're going to be learning how to make some awesome dough recipes. Now we've all messed around with slime at home so this is a fun different alternative. All right so the first one we're going to be learning how to make is Kool-Aid dough. So first we have to get our packet of Kool-Aid and we're going to put it into this is a half a cup of warm water and we need that so it dissolves all of the powder granules from the Kool-Aid. Now our slime this time is going to be orange. So we're gonna mix that up. We're gonna put our other liquid ingredient in here too. This is a tablespoon of oil. We're just gonna put that in there. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, just whatever oil you have at home. All right. So we got our liquid ingredients all mixed up, all the Kool-Aid has been dissolved. So our next step is mixing our dry ingredients together. So on my mixing bowl, this is three fourths cup of all purpose flour. We're gonna put that in our bowl. Next, we have a fourth a cup of salt. Now this is just normal table salt that you have at home. And then we have a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now cornstarch is really cool because it's a thickening additive. So this is going to help keep our dough all nice and thick. We're going to mix all of that together. Make sure it's all mixed together. All right, now the fun part, we're going to add our orange Kool-Aid into our dough and mix it around. Now, if you ever think that your dough is coming out a little too soft, you can always add more flour. Right. The cool thing about this dough is it smells neat, has an awesome color, and also it keeps for two weeks. So my dough is a little bit sticky, so we're going to add a bit more flour, and you can just add it in little increments. Knead it around just like you were kneading some bread on your table, and then once it gets to the consistency where it's not sticking to your hands anymore. Your dough is good to go. Look at that. That didn't take too much and we're already at the consistency we need to play with it. And like I said, this keeps for two whole weeks. So if you keep it in a container, you can play with it for several days at a time. And it smells nice. Ooh, it smells like oranges. Okay, our second type of dough we're making today only involves two ingredients. So we have cornstarch and then just like dish soap. What's neat is that this dough, dish soap with it being blue also gives it a little bit of color so you don't have to use food coloring. So we're just going to put so much, I would say about a fourth a cup of dish soap in there. And then we're going to add our cornstarch into our mixture. What's really neat is when you make all these different types of dough, each one has its own consistency. So you can kind of check out, feel the different ones, what makes what type of dough. All right, so I think I finally got my consistency right with the cornstarch and the glue. So when we pull it out, now this one is a lot firmer in consistency. The other one was a little bit stickier. But yeah, you have yourself another dough here to play with. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure to check out our other fun videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you decide to make any of this at home, please uh, comment below, show us your photos. We'd love to see them. <laughs> see ya.